I'm Carolyn Carter. I am the Certification Tools Product Manager at Fluke Networks, and it's my pleasure today to introduce you to the FI3000 Fiber Inspector Pro. Now I want to show you how quick you can get your very first image using the FI3000. So to do this, I need the probe, and I need something to test, and I need the application. Let's start the application. We see the splash screen, and then you're going to see you're in a display called Live View. If you look down here, it says Wi-Fi disconnected. So I need to connect the phone to my probe. And I do that by pressing this button saying Wi-Fi disconnected. And it's going to take me to the settings on my phone. And I can go to the Wi-Fi area and see what access points are available. Again, the FI3000 is an access point, so you're going to see it listed. And here it is right here, FI3000 underscore in a number of characters. How do I know that's this probe? Well, it's because the SSID of every FI3000 always starts with FI3000 and the product serial number. So there is this probe serial number, and you can see it ends in 039. And if I look here, this is FI3000, a serial number, which ends in 039. So that is this probe. So let's select it to attach to it, and it's going to ask for the password. The password for every FI3000 is the same. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Press join. One thing you do have to make sure is that the probe is on. So you see a blue light. Because if the probe is not on, you can't join to it. So there I go. I've actually joined to the probe. So now I can press this button on the top and go back to fin the application. So now we're up and running, and you can see I have a Wi-Fi connection. So let's now look and actually take an image. So I'm going to use the probe, and I have a UPC base 12 tip. So that means I can connect to a multi-mode MPO cable that is a 1x12. So I'm going to go ahead and connect it to it, making sure I have a nice connection. And there you can go. You can see that an image came up, and that is a real-time image, as you can see by me jiggling it but it doesn't look like it is in focus. So I have two ways of focusing it. I can focus it using the camera itself with autofocus, or I can press autofocus on the app, and there I go. So now you can see, I can see all 12 images, and it is in real time, as you can see, as I jiggle the cord. I can now zoom in, and this is just using your normal phone gesturing. But as you see, as I zoom in, I lose some of my resolution, and that's because this is real time. If I'd like to get better resolution, I can double click and it takes a picture and now I can zoom in and see that. Or if I want to go back to um, a live image, I can just press center and I'm live. Or I can press center twice and I can see all 12. So there I go. Really quickly, I had my first image using the FI3000.